Good afternoon, I'm Brenda Curtis and I'm the ministry person at Westminster United Church in Humboldt, at Wesley United Church in Quill Lake and at Trinity United Church in Watson. And I'd like to just share with you today a scripture reading. So this week I was hoping to be able to read to you the scriptures that come up in this week's le lectionary so that you will have the readings for this coming Sunday service. Um, and then I'll just talk a little bit about each of those readings as, as we go along. So this Sunday is, uh, this Sunday is Good Shepherd Sunday. And so as you can imagine, one of the readings for this Sunday is the uh, very familiar and much beloved reading of Psalm 23. So let's hear this reading from Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. May God's blessing be added to the sharing of these words. I know that uh, often we hear this passage in the context of uh, funerals or memorial services. Uh, that's kind of how we've become accustomed to connecting to this passage. But as our study group met this morning, we talked about uh, the meaning of this passage for us living through the uncertainty of a time such as this. And so we recognize that this passage instilled in us a sense of trust. We can trust that the Lord will be with us, no matter what the future might bring, no matter what the outcomes of this um, unsettling time are in our world. Uh, we, can, we can trust that things will work out and that uh, we won't be alone. Um, so we talked about that and how that brings comfort at a time when there's so much uncertainty um, and so much anxiety in our lives as well. So it was very interesting, our conversation about uh, Psalm 23 this morning. I want to also share with you another of the readings from Sunday's lectionary. And this is a reading from Acts. Now, keeping in mind that the other readings, the other three readings, all refer to uh, God as the good shepherd, uh, God as the gate for the sheep, um, Jesus as the gate for the sheep. So there's all of these references to the shepherd and the sheep. And then we have this little passage of Acts that is put in with these lectionary readings, and we found it quite curious, actually. So um, I'd share with you this reading from Acts 2, readings uh, from verse 42. So it says, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Awe came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. So may God's blessing be added to the sharing of these words. And so we, we found that a curious little passage to be included with all of the other uh, motifs and metaphors around the Lord being our shepherd. And then suddenly you have this uh, passage that uh, gives a narration about the life and work and ministry and mission of a community. And so what we began to explore was how that community how the community of the church, the body of Christ, becomes the shepherd in the world, becomes the place uh, where comfort can be found, where, where we can be assured that we don't walk alone. So how the, um, how the community itself 
becomes the body of Christ in the world and takes on that role of shepherding and caring for others uh, and caring for those within the community. So uh, a very interesting conversation that we had this morning on our Bible study. So I just want to leave that with you, uh, thinking about how, uh, how the shepherd, how the Lord, who is our shepherd, comforts you in these uncertain days, and also thinking about how the community uh, becomes part of that shepherding and caring for each of us in God's name. And so thank you for joining us today and uh, for sharing in this brief time together. We hope you will join us for worship on Sunday and uh, you will hear those passages, be able to read them again and hear some reflections on those on Sunday. So God bless and thank you for joining us. Amen. <laughs>